Hello guys, welcome to AWS Hands-On. In this video, I'm going to show you something really interesting, something I've seen during the interviews, the candidates who say they know AWS in and out, but they just flunk at it. And that is a very small thing. It's called auto scaling group termination policies. So if you don't know what termination policies are, just hang on and I'll show you. So as you can see, I'm logged into my AWS console. I'll go to auto scaling groups here. I'll create an auto scaling group. So I've not started any launch configuration. I don't have any launch configuration, so I have to start from fresh. So I'll select an AMI. I'll keep it to T2 micro. I'll name my launch configuration as my first launch configuration. Rest everything I'll keep as default. Security group default interview. And I'll create my launch configuration. I don't need to access my instances, so I'll proceed without a key pair. And I'll create my launch configuration. So here it is. Now I'll create my auto scaling group. So I'll name it as first ASG. I don't want any instances in this ASG since I just need to show you what termination policies are and how you can edit and how you can set your own termination policies. I can go to, I can set this as zero. I'll keep it in my default VPC. I'll select a subnet and then I'll just go to configure scaling policies. I don't need to configure anything else. So I'll just skip and create auto scaling group. So probably my auto scaling group must be created. Okay, cool. So here's my auto scaling group. So if I scroll down here, you see this termination policies and by default, it's default. So if I click this icon, you can see an ordered list of criteria used for selecting instances to be removed from auto scaling group when reducing the cap capacity. So, so when your auto scaling group undergo, undergoes a scale down activity, how your auto scaling group decides which instance to terminate comes from this termination policy. So I've asked this question several times in interviews to candidates having even the AWS certified professional certificate and they didn't know this. It's it's actually very basic. And, and how you can edit it. Okay, now let's show you what all options are available to you. So I'll press edit and I'll go down to termination policies and I'll remove the default. And when, when I'll click on it, you, it will list down all the termination policies available to you. So let's go over each one by one. So the first one is oldest instance. And by the name it suggests the oldest instance in your auto scaling group will be terminated. Oldest launch configuration. The Since you can have multiple launch configuration in your auto scaling group, the instances having the oldest launch config will be terminated first. Newest instance, again, the name says it. The last instance added to your auto scaling group would be terminated first. Closest to next instance are, so this is related to billing. So the instance which is closest to the next instance billing R, it will be terminated first. Allocation strategy. So since uh, your instances would be divided into multiple AZs, so suppose there's AZ A and AZ B and AZ A has three instances and AZ B has two instances. So the instance from AZ A will be terminated in this uh, allocation strategy. This is something new, oldest launch template. Since launch template have been have been introduced very recently. So oldest launch template is very similar to the oldest launch configuration. So instance of instances having the oldest launch configuration, the instances having the oldest launch templates, they are terminated first. So I've told you I'll create a video on launch template, a separate video where I'll explain what launch, what launch templates are and how they are different from launch configuration. Okay, this is it for this video. I think it was a very small video and I hope I was able to clear your basics. So probably next time you go into an interview and a person asks you what termination policies are, probably you'll know what termination policies are. Thank you for watching. Just don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more informative videos on AWS. Thank you guys.